welcome to the girls' room. I'm your host, Kyle. <laughs> Hold on really fast. I'm Sheila. I like eggs. Debbie, you're supposed to say your name. Hi, my name's Debbie and I like eggs. Today we're going to be interviewing special guest, entertainer slash YouTuber, Kelly Evans. Give it up. Hi, oh my gosh. Thank you so much for having me. This is actually sugar-free Gatorade and Rebel, by the way. BT Dubs, KK. I've been the biggest fan since I was like six. So Kelly, tell us, how long have you been singing for and what made you want to get started? And how many people has she had to hurt in the process? Were there eggs there along the way? You. One of the core things that inspired me to get into music was when I was 14 years old. I wrote this song called 17 Pieces of Bubblegum on the Wall. And it was literally about like pieces of gum that I would save outside of my front door like constantly and so like at the time i had 17 pieces of bubble gum on the wall and the song it was like 17 pieces of bubble gum on the wall the wall that i leaned on so yeah i would sing it for my friends and you know they freaking thought it was funny and i personally thought it slapped and so from then on i just like started trying to write like actual songs and um when I was around 16 years old. Thankfully, we had a new piano player at our church and he offered to give me vocal lessons for free. So he became my coach for about like four years. Um, so that was really how I got started. Like he really just helped me with my writing and stuff. And then I personally just spent a lot of time doing my research online, like finding um, studios and like exactly what I need to like even be considered an artist and like what they even do, what I need to do, things like that. So. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Tell me, who's on your list of people to sacrifice when you make it big? That's a very good one. The first person I would sacrifice would definitely be... Okay, <laughs> next question. So, Kelly, tell us, um, do you have any other talents? Do you like eggs? <sighs> do I have any other talents? Yeah, I actually grew up acting and dancing. I've been like dancing the longest. I've been dancing since I was like three. Um, I hurt my knee like twice and stopped in between, but I started dancing again a couple of years ago. I've been acting since I was like, I don't know, like six or something. I did like a lot of background work, things like that. I also, um, I also can play the keyboard a little bit. I'm like in between novice and intermediate, definitely leaning towards novice. Another talent is that like, honestly, I'm like, I don't know. I feel like everyone has this talent. <laughs> I really feel like everyone has this talent, but this is something that I think is a great quality about myself. I'll say a majority of the things that I put my mind to, I can do relatively good in. So I never have any like true real doubt about myself. But yeah. And do you have any type of life outside of music? Any hobbies? Lame. You don't get to run anything. You don't say what the final question is. This is my show. I do have a life outside of music. I'm a student. I'm studying Spanish and theater. And um, I have friends. I like to go hiking and I love to go shopping. Um, I like to travel to new places I've never been. And... I kind of like, did I say hiking? <laughs> so Kelly, do you have any tips on how to get started in the industry or with singing? The main advice I would give to anyone, definitely follow your intuition and don't rely too heavily on anyone for anything like inside or outside of music and definitely make those connections. It's really stereotypical, but aside from that, I would definitely say do your research and talk to your friends and other people that you know that are into like music and things like that. Talk to them about certain things like, you know, distribution companies, um, what streaming platforms they like, what artists they're listening to, because those type of things really can help you um, determine like, you know, what is the best way to go in life and it's still good to rely on yourself but getting some feedback from other people that are doing the same thing as you can never hurt and be open to criticism definitely for singing vocal spray never hurts and it really doesn't hurt to watch other people sing um 
online in person whether it's good or bad like all last year i spent a lot of my time watching people sing terribly on youtube but um i believe that it really helps me point out like what people are doing wrong and it helps me identify when i'm doing the same wrong thing so yeah the girls room the girls room the girls room thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like share and eat eggs and subscribe <laughs>